Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the general settings section of your WordPress website. And this is where you set general items that pretty much every website owner is gonna to wanna to customize. And I will walk you through each one so you can see what they are and how they work. So here we are in the WordPress dashboard. If you go to the left-hand side menu and hover over settings, the very first entry is called general. You'll wanna click on that to get to the general settings page. Once you're here, there's a bunch of fields and a bunch of options that we're gonna walk through right now. So the first one is the site title. This is where you're gonna to wanna to have the name of your website. It's either gonna be your company name or your own name if you're the brand of the website or maybe it's gonna be a specific keyword that you want your site to rank for. Next, we have the tagline, which is displayed in some themes but not in others, but it's always displayed in the source code. So Google will be able to see what the tagline is even if it's not visible on your site. So what you wanna do for the tagline is make sure that your keyword is in there if you're optimizing for a keyword or your actual tagline. What you wanna make sure also is if you are putting keywords in the tagline, don't do any keyword stuffing. Just keep it, make, make it seem like a real tagline but include your keyword in it. Next we have the WordPress address URL and the site address URL. These are usually the same they basically denote where your website exists. The WordPress address URL is where the core files of your WordPress installation, the root directory of your WordPress installation lives. The site address URL can be different than the actual directory where your WordPress site is installed. This is a pretty rare case where, where, this, where this would happen. Usually these are both the same. What you can do in here is denote how you want your URL to be displayed. So for example, I put in the www dot before the URL. And if you look up in the address bar, we see the www dot before the, the uh, domain name as well. However, if I did this and then saved it, it's gonna make me sign back in. But you notice at the top in the domain name, the www dot is now gone. So you can do that inside of the general settings. You can tell it to either have the www or not have it. And really that's a matter of preference. It, it, um, it doesn't matter either way. You can also add an S after the HTTP if you have an SSL certificate on your site. Whatever you do in here, whatever URL you choose, whichever one you prefer, you will want to go into your Google Webmaster Tools and set that as your preferred URL as well so that Google knows which one you want presented. Next, we have the email address, self-explanatory. You enter the admin email address here and you get notifications. For example, if you have a plugin that tells you when plugin updates are available, it would be emailed by default to this email address. And if WordPress needs to be updated, it would also, or you receive a notification at this address from your host if they email them out. Next, we have the membership option. Whether you know it or not, if this box is checked, anybody can make an account on your website. The, if you go to your login form, down below the form, there is a register link by default on WordPress. So anybody can make an account on your site if you check this box. If this box is not checked, then not anyone can make an account. But sometimes you do want people to make accounts, and so you can check this box, and then you can choose what user role those people have when they register. Subscriber is the lowest user role that has the least number of permissions, so they'd be able to do almost no damage at all to your site. So quite often there are, there are plugins that will email out to, say, a subscriber. They'll email out your newsletter or they email out uh, posts when you publish them. They email the excerpt to their email address. And you can do that by allowing them to register for your site and allowing them to be added as a subscriber. I usually don't recommend having email plugins that send from your site itself. You should always get a third-party autoresponder. But if you do have a need to have people subscribe and sign up for your site, this is these are the two options you choose to make that happen. Next is the time zone. You just basically you pick where you are, which time zone you're in in the world. Uh, it has the UTC 
times if you know them, but it also has cities, oops, it has cities, countries, so you can find where your time zone is. Even if you don't know the UTC number, you can just find the, the nearest major city in your time zone. It's gonna pick a random one, it's just a demo site, so it doesn't really matter. Um, one thing to note is the time zone. If you do have uh, meta information on your post, meaning if you display date and time of when the post was made, it will be posted in this time zone. So whatever time zone this is, that's the time that will show on your post. Then you can choose your date and time format. Same thing, this is what appears in the date and time area of a post. And then the time format is how the time is displayed. And your week, which day of the week your week starts. Usually it's a Sunday or a Monday, depending where you are. So you pick the appropriate one. And you can pick your site language, which is the language of your site. So if you are... In Germany, you would pick Deutsch. Well, I guess this is, this is Switzerland German, this one. If you're in Germany, you pick this the straight Deutsch. Um, so that's about it for the general settings. And they're very general, as you can tell. And set those up in, set those up to match your needs, and then you're ready to rock and roll. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe, check out our social media, and check out wplearninglab.com. We're right about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.